Hello everyone, this is Arib and I'm back with a new and amazing topic for you. So we are going to go over a few words which are very common in English language and they are commonly mispronounced. Right, so we are gonna talk about them today. So let's get it started. So yes, as you can see that we are going to talk about some common pronunciation mistakes that we you know, normally do in our daily lives, right? So the first word is already written here. This is pronunciation, right? As you can see, actually this, this word comes from uh, its verb that is pronounce. Pronounce is a verb while pronunciation is a, a noun, right? So sometimes when uh, people, students pronounce this, this word, it has O in it, while the word pronunciation has no O in it. This is why people mispronounce it. They confuse between pronounce and pronunciation. They sometimes pronounce it like pronunciation. So it is not pronunciation, it is pronunciation, right? So this is the first word we have, right? Let's move on. All right, so what is the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning? That is, yeah, this is the first meal of a day. That is a breakfast, right? So how do we normally pronounce this word? You know, you see these are two individual words, break and fast. When you pronounce them individually, separately, they are going to be pronounced as break and fast. While when we combine them, now break fast these are two individual words having very different meanings right but when they combine their meanings is totally different right it is the first meal of a day in the morning normally we have right so this is going to be break and this is going to be fast breakfast right so you have to combine them and pronounce them like breakfast Right? So what we are actually doing here, we are compressing the vowels we have in it. Right? As you can see, there are some vowels in it. So we are uh, you know, just uh, compressing their vowel sounds. Right? So the next word we have is, after question, we have the next word. It is also related to something edible. So, Yeah, what is this word? Yeah, as you can see that there is another individual word that is a table. Let me tell you that uh, in this specific word, there is no table, right? So as you can see, sometimes people pronounce it like wedgie table. Sometimes people, uh, you know, pronounce it like wedgie table. So it's not, uh, it's neither vegetable or vegetable. It's wedgetable, wedgetable. You can see that we are not pronouncing this E in the middle. We are not going to pronounce it. So we're going to divide it into two syllables. The first one is wedge and the second is tibble. Wedge, tibble. Right? Do not pronounce it like wedgie table or wedge table. Wedge table. Yeah, you, like, you are pronouncing it half correct. Like you are not pronouncing E in the middle but you are still pronouncing the word table like table right so don't do that uh, you have to change the pronunciation whole completely wedge table right and let me tell you one more thing that uh, there are so many words in english language they have a pronunciation as the as an individual word right but when the specific word is combined with another word its pronunciation changes right and let me give you one example its name of a country see this right now you can see that this is a name of a country right here the word land is pronounced as land right while when you combine this word with like this word eng so it's not going to be land anymore right it's going to be like it's going to be pronounced like england it's not england it's england right again we are stretching we are not stretching the word the vowel we have in land so we are pronouncing like England England right so in all the words 
where you see there is another individual word somewhere at the end or in the in the middle maybe so you double check the pronunciation and then pronounce it right all right so be very careful one more example related to the same example i gave you over here in the second word this example comes yeah what is this word now you can see that uh, we have syllables here you can see a word for right as i said that an, an individual words coming at the end or in the middle so you can see it is for and this is table so it is come for table but is it is not the correct pronunciation right so the correct pronunciation of this word again compress the syllables it is come for table and you are like completely it is the pronunciation is totally changed you are going to pronounce like comfortable 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 right so now you can see that we are not pronouncing the middle portion this one we are not going to pronounce it right so this word's correct pronunciation is comfortable comfortable right i'm pronouncing the end the tail of the word inside my mouth i'm not pronouncing like comfortable i'm pronouncing like comfortable all right yeah so the next word we have is again a very common thing yeah so uh, how do we pronounce this word i think on a daily basis students uh, pronounce this word in a really um, you know wrong way so what is the correct pronunciation of this word normally people pronounce like uh, cushion question I, i don't know there are so many other you know different ways people pronounce it i also mispronounced it in the beginning when i was a learner so now let me tell you that the, its pronunciation is actually co was chin question right it's question right and the plural of this word is going to be questions questions right so do not mispronounce like question or question no do not pronounce it like that the correct pronunciation is question question right all right let's move on all right the next word we have is really common today nowadays people are really social they post their pictures everywhere so what do you see over here now you see that uh, there are again two words here photo and graph so now it is really simple that we pronounce it like photograph photograph or photograph right all right there are two more words related to it the first one is now you see that i'm going to add some only one letter at the end but the whole pronunciation is going to be changed here right the word the, this word is photograph but this word is not photography it's going to change really much and it's it's uh, pronunciation it photography photography right so <clears throat> repeat after me photog rafi photog rafi right whenever you feel a word is really confusing for you divide it into uh, multiple parts and then pronounce them one at a time right so listen to me uh, really carefully and then pronounce it with me that it is photog rafi photog rafi all right photography and the one who is professional of this photography is a photographer photographer it's not photographer it's photographer photographer photog refer photog refer right so this is the pronunciation all right so the next word we have is is a disease now it is not really uh difficult to pronounce it why because you just have to make these two letters silent and you will pronounce them like asthma asthma it is not asthma it is not asthma or any other sounds right the correct pronunciation of this word is asthma asthma 
I think you already know about this disease. They're having like some dust, uh, you know, allergies and uh, people overbreathe in it, right? So it is a disease. Move on. All right. So the next word we have is is a really mispronounced word by everyone. It is not your uh, like mistake to mispronounce it. Actually, the, the spelling structures we have is like quite confusing in the English language, right? So now you, see, now you see that the word seems to be like vehicle, all right? It seems that it is ve vehicle. Some people pronounce like vehicle, right? But it is not vehicle, it's vehicle. V-A-K-L. Vehicle. Again, as I said that I'm not pronouncing it table. I pronounce like table, so you have to pronounce the same way this word that it is vehicle. It's not vehicle, it's vehicle. Vehicle, right? All right. <clears throat> All right, the, the next word we have is this. Yeah, so there is a proverb related to it that grapes are grapes, grapes are sore people say that right so not this is not sore this is sour sour so the correct pronunciation of this word is sour grapes are sour not sore this is not sore right all right and the last word we have today is uh, all right i'm gonna talk about two words relate related to each other all right, now you see that the word over here, the first one is a singular noun and the second one is a plural noun, right? So the first word is pronounced as woman. It's not like woman, it's woman, woman, right? And the second word, I'm really sure that you're gonna be really surprised to know the correct pronunciation of this word. The correct pronunciation of this word is not women, it is women. The correct pronunciation of this word is women. Divide it into two and repeat after me. We, men, women, right? And while you are pronouncing the word W, do not use, do not touch your, you know, the lower lips you have uh, with your upper incisors, right? Do not touch like women. No, do not pr uh, pronounce like that. Because of that, you will have so much pressure on your, you know, on your vocal cords and you will feel difficulty to pronounce it right so the right way to pronounce it is uh, women women right so this is it and these are really common words i'm really sure that uh, uh, you must have used them and i use them even uh, you know uh, in a really wrong way i mispronounced all these words but i got to know and i thought that i should share the right pronunciation with you all so i hope you liked today's video if you did do not forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up and if you have any question regarding pronunciation or any other grammatical structure comment below and uh, this is it i have for you today and i hope to see you really soon bye bye